Now to a follow-up on, on an arson investigation we first told you about last week. The Venice Police Department looking for the person that keeps setting cars on fire outside of a Venice business. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley joins us with more details. Christopher? Well, good evening. The first fires were on Christmas night. There were actually two fires only a couple of hours apart. Then, this past weekend, another fire. In total, seven cars have met a fiery end. This is the result of the most recent fire in what is being investigated as arson. Three cars were involved when we got there, and our worry, obviously, was the building itself. The flames were licking up on the building. You can see some of the damage. The Venice Fire Department worries what could happen if the fire spreads inside. Acetylene torches, paint thinners, all those resins for upholstery, all very, very dangerous. With several businesses all in the same building, many expressed concern, but the ones we spoke to worried about retribution for doing a TV interview. The Venice Police Department says they have interviewed a suspect. Targeting the same person over and over again, there must be something they're either very mad about or, or something they're trying to resolve. What we don't know is if it's just one person or multiple people. Are we looking at some sort of serial arsonist right now? I don't know if I classify it as a serial arsonist. Typically, in my mind, I look at a serial crime or serial narcissist as someone who goes after multiple different victims in multiple different locations. While the investigation continues, the fire department says each time they have to respond, their firefighters are put in harm's way. We don't know if something's burning in the trunk, something was placed in the trunk, if, if he's coming after us, or is he just, you know, bent on burning down the business. We do know that the suspect is a male. What we do not know is if there are multiple people involved. No charges have yet been filed. We will continue following this as the story unfolds. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Christopher, thank you.